are you playing Pokemon Go in 2024? That's a nerd thing to do. I'm Isaac. And I'm Jacob. Today is Tuesday, February 27th. And today we are celebrating National Pokemon Day. What can we tell you about Pokemon that you don't already know? I mean, it's quite literally the highest grossing franchise of all time. This franchise is massive. Did you know that there are 1,025 different Pokemon species? I hate to break it to everyone watching, but this means that there is a very realistic chance that you will not catch them all. Stop being negative, Isaac. Pokemon teaches everyone to believe in themselves and to never give up. Isn't that a good thing to be taught? Yes, but this is Heart TV, not Motivational Speaking 101. Hey, we could still share some good. It's Pokemon Day. Pokemon are good, so it's a good day, am I right? We're getting a little off topic. I think it's best if we just stand for the pledge. Okay. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's time for some Heart Sports Center. Hey, sports fans. Happy Pokemon Day. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> hey, Jersey Mike's Athlete of the Week. We're going right into it. It goes to one of our boys lacrosse players that played a pivotal role in the league victory over Valencia and our most recent victory over El Camino Real. He's our top scorer and extremely dynamic on offense. Of course, I'm talking about Tate Fuller. Keep up the great work, Tate. Good, Good job, job, Tate. Hey, softball took third in the heart tournament last week, finishing the tourney with a huge win. 13-0 uh, over Chaminade. Wow. Production is coming from multiple players, and so far they're off to a four and two start. Great. Swim starts league this week with a meet versus Valencia Thursday on Thursday at the Aquatic Center. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Uh, track will be competing here on Thursday, running against Golden Valley. Last week uh, at Saugus, Isaiah Lopez and Taylor Chan each won their event. Yeah, nice work. That's amazing. Boys tennis opens today. Uh, league play at Valencia. Yeah. And uh, like I said, many of our, our spring sports are off to a great start. And on to baseball, we have uh, had some great success at the <laughs> Easton tournament at the start of the season and took care of business against two tough teams in Birmingham High School and Sierra Canyon. Today, our boys travel to Gar and then make their way to San Diego County and face two tough opponents in Mission Hills and San Marcos yeah, High the, School. The back end of our bullpen has been terrific. <laughs> That's right. Boys golf. Go up against Calabasas on Thursday, and lacrosse, boys lacrosse, are already showing strength with a victory against Valencia and El Camino Real. Girls continue to make improvements and go up against Heritage Christian on Friday. Boys volleyball, they have their league opener at Valencia today. Good luck, boys. All right, weird sports fact. Born on Leap Day, 1904, February 29th, Pepper Martin was a key member of the Cardinals uh, in the 1930s, and he helped lead the Gas House Gang to World Series championships in 1931 and 34. That's right. And Mr. Williams decided I needed to read the <laughs> poem about him That's after right. the read 1931 the victory. So it says, you can have a birthday cake every four years. What a break. Hero of the Redbird clan. Hey, six years old, but what a man. When you reach maturity, what a player you will be. It's a great one. Yeah, better than Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Back to you. Back to you guys. We'll be back right after this. The literary magazine is a term that you may have heard, whether it be on Heart TV or on a flyer around campus. I decided to poke around and find out what was going on. That took me to building F31. Let's take a look. The Lit Mag is a student publication that showcases students' creative writing. Why did the Lit Mag start? Um, the Lit Mag started in 2022 as um, an, an initiative to promote literacy among the student body. 
I'm a sports editor in journalism and the sports section this year is doing the poetry section of the Lit Mac. The Title I team, so the um, school site council, got to get it's like a team of teachers and parents and mm -hmm. staff members who decide how to spend Title I money. Yeah. Um, so we, uh, we, we decide how to allocate funds to different, um, different areas of campus. And I said I wanted to do a lit mag, and that was a, a literacy endeavor. Last year, I was um, a staff writer, and the sports section did drama, and I helped out with that last year. So I really like this piece by uh, Ryder Boyd, who I guess is now in 10th grade. Um, I like it because it's weird and dark, um, and I still don't really know what it is. Well, I, I wanted to submit something to the lit mag. So I sat down in front of my computer, and uh, I made a room that was gross looking. And then I made a blob thing that was gross looking. And then I added a light bulb, and I thought, ew, this is disgusting. I'm gonna add this to the lip mag. I like everything about it. I like that it gets this, we get to see the students express how they feel and what their passions are in and out of school. Why do you think students should submit to the lip mag? Um, well, to express themselves, first of all, um, and also to have a keepsake for when they're older. It makes me understand the person more on a different level and be like, oh, like, wow, they really went through that or they like this, you know? Uh, there's, no, there's no harm in, uh, in doing so and I guess you get a, a cool piece in a, in a cool magazine. So. What an amazing opportunity. I know for a fact that I'll be submitting work, but I'm gonna do it anonymously. So if you think that you find the work that I submitted, ask me and I'll tell you whether or not you're right or wrong. Thank you to everybody who let me interview them. I appreciate it. I'm Max Davis reporting, and the Lit Mag is the heart of heart. Back to you guys in the studio. And now, the news. Boys baseball take on GAR. Frosh and Varsity play at GAR at three. And the JV game is right here at heart, also at three. Girls lacrosse go up against La Cañada at La Cañada at 4.30. Boys volleyball versus Valencia. All games are at Valencia. Frosh and JV play at 4.15, and the Varsity game starts at 5.30. Boys tennis also go up against Valencia. All games are at 3 o'clock. Congratulations to Heart Theater Production for their amazing performance at last Friday's theater festival competition. Charlie Molario placed second in monologue. Samuel Court received a judge award. Catherine Smith received best supporting actor in ensemble Shakespeare. And the whole group took second place in large group musical categories. Great job. Congratulations to the Heart Show Choir teams, Heartbreakers and Sound Vibrations. Both choirs took second place in their division and both also won Best Showmanship Caption Award at their competition last weekend at the Esperanza High School Spectacular. Rachel Murphy and Gavia Zukauskas both won Best Performers in their divisions. Great job. Library night is tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. in the library. Come get that extra help that you might need. The UCLA Blood Drive is tomorrow in the small gym. You can sign up using this QR code or using the link in your school email. You must be 16 years old to donate and you can get a parent consent form in the ASB office. All donators receive a food gift card. Students, are you interested in doing man cheer for the battle rally? Please come to the meeting tomorrow at lunch in room E3, juniors and seniors only. Students, AP Studio Art is taking sign-ups for next school year. If you've taken art one and two or if you have a lot of experience making art on your own, and are interested in taking a fun year-long class dedicated to making art about a topic you're passionate about and get college credit for, see Mrs. Haddock in room M6 or email her at samples of your work at rhaddock at heartdistrict.org. Just a reminder that your submissions for this year's literary magazine are due by this Friday, March 1st, by the end of the school day. Please scan this QR code to submit your original, edited, and revised work via Google Forms. See Mrs. Mosin in room F31 if you have any questions. The Heart District CCR Department is having a college and career fair on Tuesday, April 9th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Valencia High School. Meet one-on-one -on -one with representatives from industry, colleges, universities, and the military to explore your future educational and career options. Now it's time for today's Quote of the Day. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. You too. Well, that's it for our show. Have a great Pokemon day. And, and catch them all, Art.